Welcome back to another video. This episode's episode two in the series about me launching an app. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put it somewhere in the description or wherever. But in that video, I covered all the steps that you need to take to actually launch an app. Um, those steps to me would be ideation, design, development, and then actually deploying the app. Last video, I took you guys through the ideation and design process. So I took you through what the idea of my app was and then I actually designed it in Figma. The app for me today that we're going over is called Intently. It's a personal relationship manager. It helps you keep track and be more intentional with your relationships by doing things like reminding you to check in on people. The way it works is that you can add a person and then you can add a frequency to that person. The app will then remind you when you need to check in on that person and also keep track of the things you guys talked about when you met up, when you last texted them, just to keep a history of your interactions. This came from a personal desire for me where I like to be intentional and I like to keep track and keep up to date with my friends and family, but it's hard with everything that goes on in life. But anyways, that takes us to today's video, which is the start of the development process. So the app, this app's currently actually already launched. It's in the App Store but I want to make version two and add some features. I've learned a lot in these past couple years of like working in Flutter, so I want to rebuild it. Some of the new features will be a dashboard and a section to add things like important dates and details to the person. Also with a slight redesign. But some things are gonna stay the same, such as the design of the authentication screens, the login and the register screen. So I'm just gonna kind of port those over today and rewrite the code. It's a tricky spot because a lot of the code is already written for this piece because nothing's changing. But the code's like two years old. I've grown a lot as a developer and I don't wanna just copy and paste it over. I really wanna take what I've learned and then improve the existing code base because the code looking back at it now is a little messy. I spent a lot of time with this one carefully porting over what I felt could be reused and I really re and I rewrote what I thought could be improved. Before porting anything over though, I'm going to start setting up all the dependencies. The main ones today are going to be Firebase and routing. Firebase is going to be used for authentication, the database and storage, like images. And for routing, we're gonna be using Go Router, which is my favorite routing package for Flutter. So, before I do any of the porting over also, I'm gonna work on just functionality. So I'm just gonna to try to get the authentication working before making it look good. I've learned a lot about architecture in these past two years. My current job at Yendo has helped a lot with that. So I'm gonna be re-architecting this app. It's still Flutter and Firebase, but I'm using clean architecture. If you don't know what clean architecture is, I also have a video on that I'll put somewhere. But it's gonna make the, the app just much more production level code. So, and it's, it really works on abstracting everything out. So each layer presentation, domain, and data are all separate. So after I re-architectured the app, then I started porting over all of my functional, all the functionality and the widgets that I think could be reused. There's a couple running jokes with some of my projects. I have some components from when I first started with Flutter like four years ago that for absolutely no reason, I bring over into every single project I, I do. One of them is a button that I made like my first widget making. I call it round button. And I've had some apps where the button actually isn't round, it's a square or a rectangle, whatever. But I still use my round button widget. I don't know, it's weird, but that's just my habit. Every single project I have for Flutter has like three widgets that I pull over. So uh, apart from stuff like that, a lot of this code is reusable. With this app, we created this nice animated background, which I really liked. So what it is, it's just like a, 
a stack and then you have two floating balls in the background that just float around the screen. So I think it's cool, it's unique. And it made me able to just simplify the UI because the background is kind of the nice part of it. So that's definitely coming over. The animations for that were actually done in a software called Rive. And Rive has a Flutter plugin where you can just take their file and get it to work. Overall though, it was a successful night. I got a lot done, not as much as I wanted to, but the app's authentication works. I need to fix some stuff with it though, such as moving all the logic into blocks. Just to get it working today, I used local state for the method calls. I also didn't set up the social routing, the social authentication, um, meaning Google and Apple. So I need to get those working. Overall though, this was a successful night. I got a lot done, not as much as I wanted to, but the app's authentication works. I need to fix some stuff, such as I need to take my method calls from using local state to using block, because that's what I'm using for state management. And another thing that I need to do is get the social logins working, meaning Apple and Google logging. Um, but I can wait for another day. I think this was a good night. Thanks a lot for watching guys. The next few videos, I'll try to keep you guys involved throughout the entire process of relaunching this app. Um, please let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have any ideas for it. I really appreciate all the feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next episode, I'm hoping to get into the, the people management part of it, meaning getting people into the app, putting them in groups. So it should be fun. See you later.